So welcome back. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is install an ID, which is an um, integrated development environment. It's something that we can write our code in. And you can pick anyone out there. If you're really in love with one of them, you can choose that one. I'm going to pick WebStorm. And it, they have a 30-day trial, so you can all of you can try it out. And if you're a student, you can get it for free. I'll show you how in a second while the download. So you press the download key here, and you just go in pretty much and uh, open the exe file. It'll pop up and you'll be asked if you want to run it and you'll say yes. It's very simple installer. You'll say next. The basic here, you can create also associations to the specific files if you want to. JS, JavaScript files, CSS files, and HTML files. Let's just do that and then I'll add the JetBrains folder and then I'll just let it run. And while it runs and installs, I just want to talk about the different other tools out there that you could use if you don't want to pay for WebStorm. First of all, if you're a student, that Jet, uh, JetBrains actually provides a program that uh, you can also use this as an educator. But there's actually free tools for students and educators. So you can go and get their entire product set here just by applying to get those. And there are a lot of good ones in here. Reshop, if you do uh, Visual Studio for some reason, is also awesome. IntelliJ, that's this one, if you want to try and use that one instead. Another ID that's very powerful. This is a bit... I would say heavier <laughs> to use than um, the WebStorm one. So it's more complex to use, but it's not that complex. We have Visual Studio Code, which is a free version that is cross um, platforms. You can use in any, any of the platforms out there. You can use that one as well if you want to. And there's also, of course, Visual Studio Community, which also has support for TypeScript. So you could also use that one. But I'm going to use, uh, in my case, the WebStorm setup. So again, it's up to you which one you, you want to use. Now the installation is running, almost done. While that completes, I have set up my IntelliJ, uh, sorry, my WebStorm to look in a specific way. And I won't go over all the settings, I'll show you a few of them. But go and watch this video, it's about an hour, but I think it's around an hour, but I think if you just go and watch the first few minutes in it, he actually explains a lot of good things about how you can set up uh, your your web storm for actually developing angular apps and again this is the link for the video uh, I'll try and put it in the comments if you so you don't have to write it yourself but very good video to watch if you want to set this up in a specific way he has a lot of good advice on how to set it up also he shows you a lot of shortcuts in web storm would make it which makes it so much easier to use so let's run web storm finish it it's done installation so it'll pop up here with the web storm I will say I don't want to import the web settings, previous settings because I don't have any. It'll start it and actually now it's licensed to me because I already have WebStorm installed on my Mac. So it figured out it was me. But when you do it, you're actually allowed just to pick free a trial period for WebStorm. It asked me for some of the key uh, schema. I'll just pick the basics here, default ones. And then we can start working with new projects. We can start working with version control, etc. etc. Let's end it here. Now the tool is up and running. And um, I don't want to create a new project yet, but we'll try and open our first Angular project inside WebStorm when it's ready. So see you next time. We'll try and, and install the Angular CLI setup. Have fun.